uh, my friend, an absolute honor for me. Uh, I'm a big Immortal fan. I'm also one of those per those persons that also would love to hear another Demonas album some other time because March of the North was a masterpiece. But well, of course, we're here to discuss Immortal, new record. Uh, how are you doing today? Well, actually, it's a bit uh, it's a bit uh, too hot outside. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> how, oh, how's the how's the temperature here? In, I, I'm in Argentina. Here, it's quite cold. It's getting quite cold, but how's how's over there? Uh, like 20 degrees. Oh, okay. That's 18, 18 19 maybe. That's hot for Norway, that's right? Not so, that's not so usual, you know. It's like uh, normally it's uh, a much lower temperature, but okay. uh, but. Uh, but no problem. I can survive that. You know, it's like <laughs> yes. uh, it's vacation weather. <laughs> awesome. Well, glad to glad mm. to hear you're doing okay. And Demonas, of, the the war against Toll is upon us. May twenty sixth is the release date. Um, well, to yes. my ears, the record really sounds like a continuation of what Northern Chaos God was. I think you started writing songs for this new album at that time, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but in in War Against Toll, I also sense some immortal after at the heart of winter era as well in some of the influences like the open briefing at no sun for example but all in all it's an, an old school immortal sounding record overall how would you define how would you describe the sound of the this new album to me it's like um, when i wrote northern chaos gods uh, it was like a re-establishment of immortal in a way because mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> there was after all the fall it was not heading in the right direction. There was like some of those songs were even touching like some kind of uh, prog progressive metal, you know. And I don't, I don't want that. So, so I started to uh, write songs more like with inspiration from the early days, you know. Mm -hmm. And sure. and uh, I took a lot of inspiration from the time of pure Holocaust and battles in the north. And mm -hmm. the same with this one, you know. It's like. On the four, four first albums, I played the guitar and I made the signature sound yeah. uh, for the band, you know, and, and, and that is what you hear now. It's like when I sit down, work with the lyrics and the music, it becomes immortal. And it's this, it, this is the specific sound of that, you know, so, mm -hmm. so I, think, I think both those albums, uh, War Against All has something from Northern Chaos Gods, but it's, um, I try to... I tried to cover the whole specter of what is uh, in this immortal world, you know, for me. So the next album may be more punk. <laughs> <We'll see. laughs> yes, uh, of, of course, you can listen to that. I mean, kind of a, a nod to that classic or old school era of, of, of Immortal. And production, of course, certainly is a bit more modern than it was in the pre Holocaust <laughs> era. Uh, but I, I guess it's what you get with the technology changes as well. So to, to what extent do you cope with this more uh, new new era technologies of recording. I mean, how's the production of an album like these days for you in comparison to what it was like in the 90s, for example? Well, uh, it's digital, so it's different. You know, it's very hard to go in and find a studio to record analog. You know, it's like a lot more work will be much more expensive and, and, and I think it will take a lot of time. I don't know, but uh, but it, but it's like I, I normally go for the guitar sound first, you know. That is what mm -hmm. I, and and um, um, to me, it's like using an old amplifier. I have a super lead, uh, 100 watt uh, Marshall, you know, and and uh, that is an old school amp. Yeah. And, and uh, I think that sounds great, you know. But of course, you you, you use some you use some pedals, but it's like uh, I. I I really want that biting sound, you know. Mm. I, I think that if 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 you should have a guitar sound on an immortal album, it should be biting sound, you know, in a way. So, mm. <clears throat> yeah, I, I think the sound is like old school, uh, right guitar sound for me. And and uh, but it but it will all, all, never be the same, you know. Uh, the 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 North Chaos Gods album sounds. Uh, maybe a bit uh, more undergroundish. I don't know. This mm -hmm. is a bit more open, but uh, but it's still the same biting and sound. Yeah, and I, I get I the think point. Uh, yeah, it, it has the uh, its own signature. Yeah, so yeah. Hmm. Uh, I also noticed that this is uh, well one of the first albums in a long time you do without uh, Peter Tagrent in the in the production. 
Um, well, Icedale was in charge of it. Well, of course, you're well familiar with his work. You've been partners in, in many occasions. So why change the, the producer for this album? On the North Coast Gods, uh, Peter only produced the drums. Okay. And he also remixed the album. He did a mix down. But but the, the guitars and the vocals and uh, and the solos and everything else was recorded uh, with Ice Dale in Bergen. Mm -hmm. uh, the bass and the drums was recorded by, by Peter. So I, I thought I could do it this time only with Ice Dale, you know? Uh, also because of the pandemic. It, it was uh, would be a lot of stress to go back and forth to Sweden in this time, you know? So. <clears throat> So I decided to do it there. I think he is a person that understands my musical visions very good. So I think working with him is very, yeah, you know, very right for me. You know, yeah. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Uh, well, Demon, let's go into the to, to the lyrics. Of course, for for many years you've been writing about uh, Blaschirk, the, the realm of Blaschirk. Um, I think a fan of Immortal immediately links that to the to the classic era of, of Immortal, of course. So what's your, your your mindset when writing lyrics? Do you think you're able to write about anything in the Blaschirk realm or do you find yourself to have certain limitations at times? What's it like to to think about this when going into a new album? To me, it's, um, it's like whenever you hear, I, I, want, I want the fans to recognize the music, you know, like uh, the signature of the riffs and the signature of the lyrics, you know, because uh, in my world, the the words are as important in immortal. The words are as important as the music in a way right. because it's a it's an expression altogether, you know. And when I make, I ne I don't make songs. I make albums. Mm -hmm. I I uh, <clears throat> I, ha I always make a plan to do an album, you know. So like the first song to the last song in a way. So I think that all of this. With the music and the lyrics has to fit together you know so that when the fans listen or the listener that he will capture the essence and 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 listen through the whole album uh, and the lyrics and the music will put him on a journey you know like like, like when i was listening to hallowates with slayer right. or possessed beyond the gates you know i i felt it was a journey through hell and i want to give my fans a journey through blaster you know so it's like mm -hmm. i write lyrics for a whole album, normally. So, uh, and it's it's important for the for the expression. You know, when when I sit down, make the music, put the lyrics on top, and to describe the atmosphere, uh, I think I think you are able to hear that if you're an emotional yeah. fan. You you can hear that this this has been on his ears a lot of time because this is yeah it it fits you know in a way. Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. You know, well, actually, it's, it's a lot of work. It's uh, it's every word is uh, every word is taken care of. You know, in a in a way, it's, it's just not, like I take my music and my lyrics seriously, mm -hmm. but I, but I also have to find a way. Uh, there there has to be a certain balance, you know. So yeah, yeah. Hard to explain. <laughs> I'm sure, but we we get the 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 idea. Um, mm. Actually, you know, in in this album, there's a song called Immortal. You know, it's fast and it's kind of what classic Immortal sounds represents. Like in mm -hmm. War Against All, the title track, you have blast beats and the fat riffing at the beginning and the end, more dynamics during the middle parts of the of the songs. Uh, would that be kind of the of the formula for a classic Immortal song? And that's why you named that the song like that. Uh, five years ago, I moved. Um, it was a long time dream to have a house by the mountains. Oh yes, and mm -hmm. I I bought a house by the mountains for five years ago. Uh, uh, three and a half hours from Bergen uh, on the south. It's, it's like between two national parks. Uh, there is the glacier. Uh, I, my, my house is by the foot of the glaciers. So there is snow all year round on the mountaintops. You know, it's in the wilderness. So if you go to the mountain here, you can meet anything. <laughs> it's a very, very nice place and very, it's very like uh, solitude, but big place you know like nature so mm -hmm. um i i'm really inspired you know and and when i moved i had a lot of old things with me right so all of the materials that i was written earlier uh, i packed up everything and i found a lot of lyrics from the uh, 90s from a long time ago 
and 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 there was this song immortal and there was war god i both of those mm. lyrics were old you know so so i decided to finish that song you know and i sat down finished the song with the riffs and the ideas that was laying there and I, and i fixed the lyric and i put it on the album so i think that song could have easily been on the battles in the north album oh yeah sure you know it's like it got the same grooves right the same riffs just a different production but if it was recorded in 95 it would go straight into this album mm -hmm. yes that sounds really 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 classic immortal now i get what you i i knew that you had moved to the uh, to the mountain but now i get why you say that it's a hot weather today <laughs> <laughs> yeah but it's it's like it's mountains here it's it's the forest or the woods you know and 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 there's also the fjord so it's mm. a bit colder it's a bit colder longer down you know so so but it's um it's very inspiring to live on a place like this when you write music yeah. so so to me it's like uh freedom you know immortal is my freedom <laughs> in a way you also got this cool instrumental song called uh i hope i'm pronouncing it correct norland deer um, yeah very well pronounced oh thank you thank you very much <laughs> well a really melodic uh instrumental track so once you want to ask you how's that different from writing a more uh, typical song for you is it more challenging or is it something that comes more naturally how's that like I think that, uh, that, you know, my inspiration or the bands that I was listening to earlier and today was like the band from the 80s, right? Mm -hmm. uh, the band, like, like the, the albums from maybe from 80 to 89 or 90, you know, uh, like like Old Slayer stuff, the Celtic Frost sure. uh, albums, you know, from 84, 85 uh, and, and uh, the first Metallica, first Metallica album, the Battery albums, Venom. And, and Man of War, all, mm -hmm. all of these uh, great bands, you know, and, and and I think you can hear on this instrumental, it's a bit of trash in it, you know, trash metal, yeah. or it's a bit of that era. And and, and I think I wanted to write a song uh, that was like, you could put on the headphones and walk to the woods, you know, walk to the, uh, to the mountain and just have the, the driving music. So when I was listening to this, I didn't want to put vocals on it. Okay. When the first riff tapes I made I make riff tapes you know so I have a tape recorder and I always make the music with just a guitar and the tape recorder so I was working with this song and I, I instantly knew that okay it's going to be an instrumental so yeah so I, I think it's not so technical it's not so yeah. advanced but, it, but it's got a lot of small details and it takes a lot of listenings to uh, get everything under your skin maybe so there's a lot of details so, and also Ice Dale this, on this song he was he participated with some arrangements he was like helping me out what came with some good ideas and I, maybe you can have that i don't know mm -hmm. so. yeah yeah for sure i i really enjoy the song as i said for me the the things that stands out the most is the the, the melody in the in the songs mm. the, the riffs are super melodic as well but as as you said yeah it encompasses a lot of a lot of stuff there um well demon as the, the the album is scheduled as i said before to be released on may the 26th uh, the end of this month uh so far there's been no announcement announcement of touring um so i wanted to know if you are planning on assembling a live band and going out on the road or not yet the plan is to to meet with the management in uh, in bergen in the end of the month uh, so we will discuss everything but uh, for this year uh, everything is booked for the festival so it's too late but uh, you know it's been mm -hmm. like uh there was a lot of issues uh, from this album to the last, and and, and I had to re-establish a lot of things. So also, uh, Ice Dale and the drummer Kevin, they they are busy with their bands, you know. So right. so we have to sit down and talk and find out to, to make a plan. Uh, yeah, that is what we have to do. First step, you know. So and there was also uh, because of the pandemic and everything, it was really not so easy to re-establish and say okay we're going to go on tour just after the album you know everything was postponed you know and the last year they wanted me to release the album um and and uh, i was offered to do it without the vinyl so i just said no let's wait let's wait to, till there's vinyls available sure, and yeah. we will release the album so uh, you cannot really release an immortal album without the vinyls yeah. we'll be fucked <laughs> so yeah <laughs> yes you know. i agree <laughs> yeah so i i had the test pressing for the album for more than a year now mm. Mm. Wow. so it could could have been released a long time ago but uh, anyway it's, I, I, I 
I always try to make timeless music, so I, I still hope it's like timeless. Yes, timeless for, sure. Mm. for sure. But so you're 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 willing to 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 playing live if if the if the opportunity comes. Yes, I think so. It, it's like uh, as long as we can do some some great shows. Mm -hmm. I, uh, but I, I I have not committed to anything yet. We have okay. to discuss it, find out, and, and I don't want to do it if it's not like I want to do it properly. You know. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, uh, I, I wanted to make just a quick a quick question about the band Demonas because, as I mentioned before, I really enjoy the, the March of the North album. Um, mm. Of course, it's a, it's a different style than Immortal, and you're you're very busy now with with Immortal that it's your your main band. But would you be down for a, a new Demonas album in the future? You know, when I did the Demonas album, it was a side project, you know, from Immortal in a way. It was like mm -hmm. I, I had all the I had this idea to make a uh, heavy metal album. Uh, with, a, with a more like marching feel to it and, and yeah. a bit like you know I, I'm a big fan of Man of War I'm a big fan of of, of old school heavy metal so I thought I would make an, a heavy album you know with a and also the drummer was Armageddon from the first Immortal album he was playing mm -hmm. on that because he's like a heavy metal drummer and and, and uh, of course it, would be, it wouldn't be a problem to make another record of that but you know uh, I, I haven't make priority to it you know so right. maybe i have two or three songs for it you know but i haven't i haven't had a plan to do that so no i'm working with immortal and e even if it it was a long time between those immortal albums there's been a hell of a lot of other things to do so i hope that uh, for the next album uh, immortal album it will not take so much time you know oh okay now <laughs> i can yeah. anything can happen then yeah but it's like uh, i, I Immortal is not a compromising band, you know. Mm -hmm. You can't compromise. The music will suffer. So the best thing is that I do it on my own. That is the absolute best yes. for me. Because then there is like uh, no obstacles or, yeah, I think you know what I mean. There's been a lot of issues with it. So Yes, yes, I, I certainly know what, what you mean. Uh, I, I was going to ask you something about it, and and I, I know you've been asked about it a, a, a lot, but I I never quite fully got your your posture because I I am aware you know that Abbath stated a while ago that he would be open to an immortal reunion, but uh, the, uh, the the question I would like to make you is if if offered the chance, not now, but in the future, uh, would you agree to an, a reunion with Horg and, and Abbath? You know, we've tried all that before. Mm -hmm. several times and uh, it didn't work okay so I don't see why I should do that again you're comfortable alone now yeah but 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 but, but I don't see a reason to do it because uh, mm -hmm. we tried it before it didn't work yeah so and and when something doesn't work why don't you why do you want to do it again <laughs> it's easy. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. <laughs> mm. Okay, um, and well, Demonas, the, the the final question for you, and thank you very much for for your time today. Um, of course, for 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 me as a as a fan of the of the genre of, of black metal, it's a delight to see when when legendary bands like yourself, uh, Mayhem, Dark Funeral, and other mm. uh, still put classic records and great records, but. You know, when when the time comes from from let's hope that it's a long time from now, but uh, the, these classic black metal bands uh, retire. Uh, um, do you um, which of the newer black metal bands, if you maybe could recommend anyone, would you say would be kind of references for the for the genre? Anyone in particular that you recommend checking out? Uh, you're talking about newer bands. Yeah, uh, yeah, or maybe someone that's uh, a, a band that is not that well known and and you and you like. To to me, it's like I I I'm an old school fan of the '80s music, and uh, of course, sometimes you listen to something new. But it's like uh, when I listen to the old records that I told you about, like mm -hmm. Witchslayer or the early Metallica or the Celtic Frost. Or the battery albums you know you listen as a fan right i'm still a fan you know uh i'm 10 years old when i listen to those albums you know and 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 um, but when i listen to new music i analyze you know i i can't i i don't listen as a fan you know because it's um i don't get impressed the same way as i did right. back then you know 
and and uh, so it's very hard for me to uh, to promote new bands because I if I listen to them maybe I listen half a song or one song or the next one you know it's like I don't listen to albums with new black metal bands the same way right but I think like there there are some great bands but they are all old you know <laughs> normally <laughs> so, so so newer bands to me it's like it's a very different thing you know I I don't I don't listen so much to new black metal bands you know okay. maybe sometimes maybe sometimes I, I can just to orientate you will you will listen to something I'll put it on of course but it's like I it's not the same like when I I would rather uh, order an old battery album and get it in, in, in the <laughs> post and, yes <laughs> you know what I mean yes of course of course yeah uh, yeah it's, it's different so because uh, that is that is the magic part you know that is the piece of the band you got earlier now everything is so available you know everybody every band is like studio reports all that fucking shit you know it, <laughs> it's uh, it's very meaningless to me so when we bought albums when we were younger uh, you felt you had a piece of the band today all those singles on the internet and all those boring shit you know it's a different time you know i, I try to keep the magic and keeping the magic uh, for me, it's, it's like uh, I, do, I don't listen to those albums on a headphone in the in the city. You know, I I, I do it only on my vinyl player at home with a beer or whatever. You know, so yeah. so I can keep that record holy, if you know what I mean. I don't want to stand on a bus stop in the city with Celtic Frost on. You know, <laughs> they, they deserve so much better. <laughs> yes, definitely. All right. You should go to the top of the mountain and blow flames and uh, listen to it you know <laughs> right the way it should be done properly for sure uh, yeah, because it's uh, it's uh, it's uh, the holy grail to mm-hmm. Megaterion you know yeah. the holy grail fantastic. under the sun of the black market fantastic albums fantastic records for sure well uh, yesterday was the anniversary of under the sign of the black mark actually I think a fucking good album you know yes. th- th- that is that is uh, awesome you know that is uh, really really that's the real shit you know and I I want to honor that, you know, and I try yeah. to honor that with my, with the music also. I, I really try to to pay respect to those bands when I when I make music. Awesome. Well, uh, Demon, as for, from my end, that would be that would be all. Thank you very much for for your time, and I wanted to ask if you have any last words for your Latin American fans today. Yeah, I actually have. I I really hope they will stay with me. Mm-hmm. I, I really hope they will stay with me and that they will, they will enjoy the Immortal album because uh, I made it for them too, you know. It's, it's like I made it, make this album for the loyal fans, you know, no one else. Awesome. Okay, I'm sure they will. Thank you very much again, Demonas. It's been a pleasure chatting with you. Thank you for a good conversation and uh, yeah, I hope to see you someday. All right, yes, I hope so too. Take All care. Right. Bye-bye. Yes, bye-bye.